Nepal is a small country wedged between China and India. It's a country known to adventurers as a gateway to climbing the world's tallest mountain, Mount Everest. But for foodies, it's known for this, the Momo. So Momo is uh, Nepali style dumplings. Uh, what we do different is our flavor profile is more curry centric. So if you look at Southeast uh, Asian region uh, where dumpling is super popular, there is, it's very straightforward, more soy centric, ginger centric versus the way Nepali people do their dumplings are more with curry spices. That's Sagar Gurung, a co-owner of Kathmandu Momo Station located in the Blackstone District. He moved here from Nepal in the mid-90s and wanted to bring the popular dish of his homeland to Omaha, starting out with pop-ups until he built up a clientele and then opening the brick-and-mortar store. The Nepalese cuisine is unique, but it's influenced by the spices and cuisines of its giant neighbors. And the other thing Nepal brings to the dumpling table are sauces. Uh, sauce, I feel, could elevate your Momo experience. Sauce is super, super important for your Momos as well. The traditional sauces are based in tomatoes and Szechuan peppers, but Momo Station also adds its own signature sauces like a mango habanero sauce. The proteins for the dumplings have evolved over time. Traditionally, uh, water buffalo was the, the primary choice, uh, but now I think people are exploring all proteins. Uh, at our shop, we do chicken and pork only. For a, for vegan option, we have mushrooms. Gunrung took me back into the kitchen to show me the delicate process of assembling the momos. What Ramila is doing here is wrapping chicken momos. So th this is basically our, our uh, meat. We have our little wrappers. She hand wraps them. And once th these are wrapped, these will come to many uh, little uh, chest freezers we have and we freeze them. When an order is put in, the frozen momos are either steamed or fried and then plated and served with the various sauces. There are other Nepalese items on the menu as well. So this is another item that, from our focused menu. We love serving our customers. We call these guys alu chops. It translates to basically potato patties. So these are curry spice potato patties uh, and then, uh, you know, just deep fried. So uh, now that we've seen these made, we're going to try some of the momos. Uh, this is one of the steamed ones and there's a bunch of different sauces here. Um, I'm told to try some of the more savory ones, spicy ones for the steamed ones. So that's what I'm going to do. Mm. The dumpling part, nice and chewy, thin. Um, this is a chicken one, and you can definitely taste those unique spices, the curry and stuff. And this is really good. When you're in the shop, you can also feel and smell the calming influence of the Hindu and Buddhist vibes there. A feeling only deepened by the rich tastes of Nepalese cuisine. Reporting for Fox 42 News, I'm Jeff Roth.